All right. Hello, everybody. I apologize for the delay in getting started. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like Twitch somehow re uh, decided that my uh, my bot needs a account reset. Ne needs a needs a new password. Unfortunately, in order to do that, I have to not only know the username, I also have to know the email associated with it. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is. Um, fortunately, that means I just was not able to get into it fast enough. To, and, and then I tried to load support, because that's what they tell you to do if you can't get access to it. And, well, um, frankly, the website ain't working. So I can't even request access anyhow. I, like, there's nothing I can do. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's just going to have to be what it do. Um, dash we need to change. Giga attack? That's new. X-Buster learned move? Okay, this is going to be a little different. Uh, I definitely haven't played this before. So this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. Ooh, player select. Oh, but I like zero. I'm going to play zero. Oh my god, does this mean we get to play this game twice? I think we get to play this game twice. Oh, wait, emotion. Unfortunately, they're very jankety. Who are you? My masterpiece. But who are you? After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gives me motivation in life. Now go, destroy him. That's an order. But wait. Okay, so this is where we learn a lot. Exposition! Emergency! Emergency! All Maravillic hunters on call should assemble immediately! Emergency, that same dream. Emergency, Again. All Maravillic hunters on call <laughs> Exposition, I, 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 get, I see what you... Oh, my logo is still spinning. Yeah, uh, sorry. There. That should be fixed. Sorry about that. Turn that off. Mavericks emerged at point five five six seven. In occupied Sky Lagoon. This looks like a rep Repel Force. Repel Force. Okay, I'm on my way. Thanks for telling me all about like the history before Ready. Eggman X, but not. Okay, so he doesn't charge at all. Okay, this is very different. This is probably because it's it's my first time playing a Mega Man X game that wasn't on Super NES. Ooh. <laughs> Capcom in the background. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do to hurt him. Oh, but I can hurt this. Um. So they do have different attacks. It seems so weird.
Dragoon? You're in the 14th unit, why? This doesn't look good, Zero. The Maverick took out the power. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will... I'm crashing into the ground. Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have to do something. It's too late. I must escape now. You best do the same, Zero. That seems dumb. Damn, if the Sky Lagoon falls, it will be disastrous. No time. I'm going down. What? Ready. Am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh... The awesome Canadian wifey is here, just lurking. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Our frame from Backseat Gaming. Backseat Gaming is fine. Let me know if you want awesome hints, weaknesses. I'm fine with that. Uh, this is my first time ever playing this. Okay, so I can't do the up dash. Ooh. Oh, okay, so that's destroyable. The mobility seems to actually be worse in this one. Like, at first it didn't seem to want to let me touch the sides. It's a little better when you learn the controls better. Some power-ups help Zero, too. Cool. Yeah, it just... It feels weird. Like, the default... The default mobility in this is significantly worse, I think, than in any of the previous X games. Like, there's less precision in the controls. For all the previous games seemed very, very, very precise. Iris, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Hero, did you come to save me? Yes, hang on. No, technically I came down because I was pissed. A huge Maverick appeared and... Stay here, Iris, I'll handle it. And then jump the PlayStation. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like they didn't quite know how to handle the PlayStation. Is this really one of Ruffle Forces? I don't have a moment to spare. I have to defeat him or else. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. And that reminds me of uh, what was it called? Ikaruga. Okay. No, thank you. Ow. I'm really sure how to dodge that, but killing him doesn't seem that hard. Like all the others, like in every X game, like the first introductory mission has a gigantic robot. That looks really intimidating, but it's super easy to fight. Zero, long time no see. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've come to save my sister Iris. Right back there. I only hope she's okay. She's fine, I just rescued her. No, you didn't, you left her! You left her on the road! Like, you did nothing! She gave you information, you kept going. Colonel, I have a question for you. Did your unit attack this place? What are you talking about? Repliforce came here for help. You we weren't involved in the attack. They suspect you've become a maverick. What? Disarm and come with me to the HQ. I'm afraid I can't. Soldiers never drop their weapon. I won't do it, not even for you, Zero. Then they'll think you're a maverick. 
So be it. The Repla Force prefers war over dishonor and shame. Goodbye, Zero. Wait, Colonel, listen to me. Damn, this isn't good, Colonel. They may decide the entire Repla Force is a group of mavericks. That's interesting. This seems kind of weird. Ready for the best worst names of the series? Oh no. Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for this our is own the worst voice acting for this particular character. Like it doesn't Together, seem to match the body. Our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repla Force. Yeah! <laughs> I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride, without fear, for we are the Repla Force. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! They chose some really bad voice actors for this. I'm just saying. <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> it also doesn't seem good for Sigma. Like... Eh. Iris, what are you doing here? My brother Colonel started the coup. I know. Please don't fight against him. This must be some kind of mistake. They've occupied several cities already. As a hunter, I must stop them. Hero, I must go now. I'm going Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. Cyberspace, a bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate. Okay, that's a first. Uh, Air Force, the Repliforce ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ. How do you know he's a traitor? He was afraid, sure, but he wasn't. Rebel Force decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard a land chaser. Biolab. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off the Repla Force's supply route. You sound really cool. Snow base. We've discovered a hidden snow base. Alt production of their new weapon. These actually have, like, story now. Also, hello and welcome, Shutter Numbers. One to nine. Um. I think I want to do this train, like... That, is that not the direction? I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try the train first. Slash beast? What? Okay. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this looks kinda cool. How dare you, how dare you not only destroy the, the path of the train, but also prevent me from killing you for it. How dare you sacrifice yourself. 
Ooh, ooh. Yes, I get to kill you. God, I love playing a zero. That's gonna be my favorite thing about this is that I can consistently play a zero. Oh, ow, that, that stung. I didn't realize there was a second one behind it. You again, doing the same thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm so close to death. Please don't die. Oh, hey, it changed his animation. He's holding his arm now. That's cool. Being that close to death actually made a Why did my health refill? Oh, hey. Compared to everyone else in this stage, you uh, came out hard. God damn it. Trying to look at chat. How dare you? Oh, hey, I can destroy the blue ones with this. City up. This is interesting, being able to actually partially destroy the, uh, Okay, well now we're to the engine. Damn it. And now he just transferred to another train. Why were these trains on the same track again? This is a lot more comfortable play, I'm gonna be honest. Like, um, I usually started, my hands started hurting really fast in um, Mega Man X. 
You dared to attack my unit? I'm gonna enjoy fighting you. Okay, I need to be more careful. <laughs> like, his, his pattern is pretty simple, it looks like. <clears throat> also, Zero's jump seems to be kind of weak. seem to be a lot more generous with the lives which that is dramatically helping me I do need to reprogram my thing to ignore my own posts I'm gonna keep using my own account as my bot account Oh, what is that? Okay. That's a new thing. Ready. Tactic that I had not prepared for. So, I don't know if there's like special moves or something. Something I probably should have looked into earlier. <laughs> gotta be like something I'm missing or maybe I'm just I'm still not comfortable with Zero's movement this seems although the, like you said the the transition to PlayStation was kind of rough it does feel like I'm, I'm fighting some of the perspective So, it really seems like these fights are designed for X, where... But like, with X, the point is to charge up a more powerful attack and hit hard once. And Zero, on the other hand, like, all his attacks are kind of the same. 
and you can't even get to the quote more powerful attacks without going through the weaker ones and uh, hitting these guys triggers their invulnerable frame. Damn it. I don't know if we're starting like they're over. Second half. I feel like this is the second half, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this has got to be the second half. Those guys did not start showing up at first. Okay, and we just jump over to the other one, but we've only got two lives to do it with now. I do appreciate that they're not making me redo the whole thing. Okay, well that was easy enough. I wonder if there's like special moves or something that I'm missing that I that I should be doing. I don't Oh. And this is a Capcom game. So that it's that it's that that double 
spicer thing that's going to screw me up every time. I know it. It's like I'm figuring out the, the whole drill punch thing. I can just jump over him. The, um, the jumping I can stay under if I try to be less aerial. And just... Every time. Oh, what was that? No worries. No worries, love. Trying to not die, which is going very poorly, I must say. Did a mutant actually work for a bit? Slash piece of a beast of a starter. Ah. I see what you did there. He punched me in the butt. No worries. Like, I'm sure I can get it, especially with this where I only have to beat half the stage and keep restarting. Like, it almost seems like I'm cheating, you know? Like, I'm. I, I feel like I am doing better, if only slightly. Is that what, it, what? What am I getting? Option. No. Energy weapon. Okay, there's nothing else going on here. Little ship. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's that's the one ups. I thought the. Uh, um, Hero's helmet icon was the, the one-ups. Blue spheres you're referring to. No, there's there seems to be there seems to be two different kinds of spheres. Um, there's the blue ones. There's like the those the blue and red like swirls, which seem to be which are probably weapon energy. But then there's um, oh god.
but then there's also like a solid red sphere. And I'm definitely not sure what that's supposed to be. Like it definitely makes the one up sound. But, um, I don't know, maybe it, like, forms into a zero helmet or something, but I know I've seen a zero helmet, and I thought that that was the one-up symbol, but then, um, oh. Hi, punch me in the butt. I think it starts out spherical, the red thing with Devo one up. Okay. But must like form into a zero helmet after it's been on the screen for a minute or something. That makes sense. They did do a lot more little animations. Because they had a lot more room to work with. Oh, that's hardly fair. He got he got a double shot on me because my invulnerable fa frame was too short. Oh well. I'm probably just going about it in the wrong way. There's probably a better one to start with. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Oh, what is that? Oh, I was so close. Yeah, 32 bit graphics finally. We're, we're into the PlayStation era. It's just a little funky. The movement and everything seems a little weird because of the three dimensions. Like, I would have honestly preferred the 2D platforming. Instead of upgrading to these, you know, pseudo 3D. Oh shit. Fuck you. Whoa, hey! No? What the hell? That's gonna be hard to come back from.
That's gonna be real hard to come back from. Oh no. Explore is my favorite of the 32-bit games by a mile. That doesn't seem too difficult so far. I mean... And I don't mean that to say that, like, you're hard to please or something. I mean just that... Uh, right now, it's the only 32-bit game I've seen. And, frankly... Uh, Right now, the controls seem very jankety. They're not very tight like they are in the in the SNES versions. Oh, oh. Ow. Damn it. Damn it. Hey, I got him! With one little dot of health to live! I got him! <laughs> I've heard a lot of really good things about X4. Um, so I'm, I've still got hope here. It's just, the controls just seem a little loose, that's all. Shibuga. SM button while dashing. Can execute a powerful dash blade attack. Approach your enemy, the Shibuga, and perform a combo. Okay. Guess he didn't make the cut. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I shouldn't be laughing at that. Okay, so that uh, gotta be honest, I kinda wanna check out cyberspace. Cyber Peacock? <laughs> he lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. That sounds stupid. He, he lives in cyberspace. Why would he want to destroy the connections between cyberspace? Um, what? going on? Free up. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop scanning me. Rank A? What? No, 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 no. Stop. I have no idea what these are. God damn it. Yeah, I just got Slash Beast, but I still don't know how to use it. Why do you... What's stopping me and doing these things?
<laughs> the big ice level has that gimmick too. What gimmick? So I have to uh... Okay. And graded for running through section one. Get through it quickly, you get items more valuable for X though. Okay, fair enough. Oh hey, a traditional fight. Arena opener. I'm impressed you made it this far. Can't beat me, get ready. Probably right! Oh, ow! Damn it, I misjudged which one he was going to do. Ready. At least this time I start with full health, and it's not like one hit gives me like it did last time. Well, two, I think. can figure this out. Like, it's not insurmountable. I think that's kind of the benefit of Zero. You don't actually need any powers to do better with, uh, with him. Tried to do the dash jump.
are you doing? This is new. This is new. This is new. This is not appropriate. Unacceptable. I don't even watch that show. I don't know what show it is, honestly. I know it's the Lemon Dude. It seems to me... Ah! Cheater! Ha ha ha! Peacock actually has a magic Maverick logo by his name because he's actually part of the Repliforce. Force. Oh! That's interesting to know. So he actually does just want to destroy shit. Rakuhoga. Rakuhoha. Giga attack button on the ground. The ultimate special attack that channels all stored energy into the blast. Does this move selectively as it consumes energy? I'm guessing they mean health energy, or is there actually like a weapon energy? Okay, so I still don't know where the heart tank is. Rust Walrus. Oh, that is such a dumb. He protects the secret warehouse which lies inside the snow. Hey. My comment about not needing weapon energy and zero to attack is what uses. Fair enough. So I already tried going the over route. Let's go the under route. Okay. What? 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 Okay, this seems very. 
Oh! That's not... That was... That was not ground. I thought that was ground. Wait, get it. Must need some kind of an upgrade or something. Sub boss, yeah, that looks like a sub boss. Come on, come on. Okay. What's up, Clawful? Like one of them death claws, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that was a very short second phase. Magitek ones, not the Fallout, Fallout ones. I mean, fair, yeah. That's obviously not meant for me to try to get up.
Okay, who brought Articuno? Okay, so this guy is from Replo 4. Oh boy. I whip out the Master Ball. <laughs> God, he's enormous. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already. Oh, that does it. You're going down. Ah, the controls are definitely not as tight. Ow. Hey, what are you do? Oh! That God damn it! Oh, making a big steppy? Yeah, he does do the big man walk. Also, we call on the correct Pokemon name. I know you ain't into the Pokemans. No, I'm not into the Pokemans, but I do know Articuno because I mean Arctic. Like it, that's that's a big hint right at the start. You know what I mean? Boo, boo, beesh. No! Got him! Woo! Okay, looks like I gotta do a stretchy in between these two fights. Or between this and the next one, anyway. That's a good timing, too, because not only did I just feed him, also I started seeing a cramp in my toes. Oh! Kill Rex gun, down plus SM button while jumping. Okay. A dive attack, effective against surface enemies. Hopefully not to be... Over spikes or holes, I assume. I'm definitely 
doing a lot better. Um, woo, and hydrate the squeak of hydration. I actually have a squeak of hydration prepared. Ah. All right. Well, I've officially not needed any of the special abilities yet, because I still don't really know how to use them. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Air Force, maybe? Let's just fuck with it. Find out. Fucking owls. Storm owl. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys want to play uh, Stream Raiders, I'm going to go ahead and start a fight there. And I'm going to throw a mage up here. All right. All right. Let's take a look here. Oh, the whole thing is an enemy. Oh, that's, uh... No. No. Oh no! That's less than ideal. Woo, hey! that when things go slightly off screen and they respawn. I also dislike the inconsistencies with which those charging beams um, cause damage. And I teleport out for no reason to a place that apparently I didn't have access to before, but I do now. Like, if there was a physical teleporter there, that would make more sense. Okay. God damn it, my dash didn't take. Special button is triangle slash Y. Yeah, for the movie you picked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure that out. That.
here. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to get up there. Not yet. Not without special abilities. First time I think I've ever had to move left to go into a boss arena. Definitely having visions of Storm Eagle. Why did you judge us as Mavericks? I didn't! Wait, stop the coup. No, we're justified in doing this. Actually, I think you are! Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. Thank you so much for that follow, and hopefully you're enjoying the show. Uh, I do this every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, these types of games I usually do on... Um, these types of games I usually do on Wednesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays I do Flight, uh, flight Simulation. Also, I am not good at these games, I just want to be clear. I'm not good, I just enjoy them. I have a lot of fun. So don't come here expecting stellar gameplay, <laughs> obviously. Like, I'm, I'm taking way too much damage. I'm doing stupid stuff. Yeah, what a crime to enjoy a game. Yeah, I'm definitely not a speedrunner. I'm not even, like, good. <laughs> Obviously, I'm struggling on, like, simple bosses. Like, I don't know how many times I died. Little shit. I get through Mega Man 3, 4, and 6 pretty fast. No, he's gonna kill me! Yep. I get through Mega Man 3, 4, and 6 pretty fast, and none of the X games really. See, I haven't played uh, 3, 4, or 6, like any of the main entry Mega Man games, like the originals, or like ever. I, I haven't played in ages. Uh, probably since they were relatively. And even then, I only really played 2. And so I think that's the trick, is to bait him into trying to grab me. Ah! Uh, like, I can, I can beat X1 really fast. Maybe an hour tops. 
Um, not not like speedrunner fast, but just like I've played it a lot fast. No! Can't! I was past you! The yeah, X probably quick as of the X games. Yeah. Right? Which is an ironic statement given the fact that I'm fighting an owl. No! Oh, thank you! Judge him, I thought he was gonna do the little hand thing. Oh well. But yeah, Mega Man X I actually own on SNES, and yes, I do own an SNES. And uh, I have emulated games on it before. Um, I believe we played, uh, Secret of Mana on my actual SNES. For no apparent reason, you should press R2, right tr because that does the giga attack thing. You know what that does? It'd probably help in this fight. That's a good healthy bit of damage to start out with. Oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you. Damn it, I didn't jump fast enough. Ooh! <sighs> that a pigeon, no, ow! Couldn't remember if they ever told you or not, I always hated that it was a different bu button than his other special. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. 
Oh, that's not. Damn it. Not enough for me to do another charge. Oh, and I missed it. Hey, 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 no. That is not cool. Oh, not fair. I got him first. Ready. You're a pigeon. <laughs> I don't know. I was out of the room when we entered the stage. He looks like a pigeon. Not really. I don't think he looks like a pigeon. Get ready. Whoa! Get ready. Whoa! Whoa! Get ready. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did he turn around? No, thank you. <laughs> Looks like a party now. Oh! Ah, uh, almost. That's ooh. Thought that was me. I'm sitting there watching all the other ones, not paying attention to this one that's creeping right up my ass. Like I, like I keep saying, I'm not good at these games, I just enjoy them. Oh, I didn't say climb that eye! Hey, full health. One thing I do like about playing a Zero is I don't have to sit there and keep constantly charging the X Buster. That was frustrating. Holding that charge was just a pain in the ass. It, it hurt my hand. Legitimately. Okay, so the trick is I need to wait for him to get closer. The, uh, the Giga thing, because they actually do damage based on how many of them hit him. Damn it. I miss entirely. Those were good trades. Okay, what, what is this? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. No, no, no. That That is not cool. Okay. Gotta be prepared for that, too. Got a number of different phases, and I need to watch out for all of them. Got him! And good trade, but I'd rather not have to do that. I'm a two. Damn it. Ow! 
No, no. How I'm getting around this? What the? Usually flies off after I hit him. I learned your trick about hitting with multiple projectiles. Yeah. Yeah, I know the trick is not to get hit. I'm just not very good. Oh, the 32-bit X games have an auto charge? That is going to make me very, very happy. There we go. Okay, hey, that's a hell of a lead for me to start with. Oh, no. Got him! Yeah! Uh, might want to strategically hold on to your ice attack to kill the attack. Hard time avoiding my ice attack. I'm not sure what you mean by my ice attack. I don't really... I've got the, the downward thrust thing, but that doesn't actually, like, stop any damage. And Kuha. Against Z-Saber, you can cut enemy energy shots with your... Oh, the, the, the Giga, Giga Smash thing? And Kuha Matata. I've got a message from Repliforce. Hero, I'll be at the Memorial Hall. Be there. Don't go, Zero. Don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. There's no avoiding this. I must go. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel! Ah! Why do you immediately jump to attack? What do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now! No. Oop. If that's your decision... Prepare yourself! Really don't feel like he's a bad guy. You have nothing on him. No reason to believe he's a re he's a reploid or a maverick. Stop, please, brother, please. Don't you remember? Zero saved my life. Oh. Wasn't him that started the fight? Very well then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there'll be no mercy. Wait, what? Wait, what? What was the point? Zero, please, don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up... Someone must stop Repliforce. Zero! Hey. Wait. Why did he call us there? To fight? Certainly didn't seem to want to fight at the beginning. Magma Dragon. Okay, or Dragoon. Okay, that one's not bad. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself inside of a know. Did he? Did he betray them? All he did was run away when there was no choice, and Zero did the same fucking thing a few seconds later. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 hey.
Hey, 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 no, no, no. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, I can't. Can't get over there. Point of getting in here. There should be something here. Okay. X capsules ones here. X cap. It's an X capsule. Zero, it's really you. Why did you betray us? He didn't. Answer me, Dragoon. I have no answer for you, my friend. Because he didn't. Didn't seem to, anyway. He's, he's a dukening! Oh, there's, there's no... Okay, so for that I need to get to the walls. Ice attack? Fair enough. Dragon Ice is super effective. <laughs> that is absolutely fair. I just usually I try at first. Damn it. That's doing no damage. What the hell is that? Yeah, the ice attack is doing absolutely nothing. Ready. 
Like, it makes sense, but it does nothing. Looks like we need to run some stream raiders. Got it. Start that fight. And we got a few from uh, Sam's Angel and Gibby. And we just won without thing. Okay. That was interesting. And then I uh, right here. All right, and then I'm gonna drop down stream raiders. Oh, hey, I have an energy tank. What the? <laughs> okay, that was totally my bad. I got my rhythm fucked up. I really do need to, like, figure out where all the heart tanks are. Yeah, fire bad. Yeah, no, I know. Ow. I dashed into him. <laughs> he jumped right over me and then I dashed into him. Ready. Yeah, Professor Lava, hot. Like I have said many times, I am not good at these games. I just love them. Like, I derp up all the time. Let's try this again. I think kind of the trick with zero is to stay closer. To the mech to get the heart container. I didn't see the heart container. Thank you, invulnerable frames. can't dash over. I didn't actually see the heart container. Oh. Or maybe I did and I'm just not remembering it. I am terrible about stuff like that. Nope, oh, that's a fire breath. Jumped back. Oh, staying in position. See, sometimes it doesn't really register my dashes.
That's a trick if you get hit, you'll have iframes. Yeah, I know. Which I I appreciate at times, like when I land in the lava after getting hit by something. The lava's an instant death. Oh, it seems like that also has iframes. Ow! Yeah. And you said something about about a about Storm Owl and it's another boss. What? Think you gained a double jump after Storm Owl? No. Um, what I got after Storm Owl was the ability to cut um, energy projectiles. Don't see the heart container though. This doesn't get hurt by the by the lava. The inverted cliff above the fireball. So there? What do you mean up here? mean up here because there's nothing up here if, if you see something i don't by all means tell me but back even further i can't get the mech back any further yeah i can get up on top of this but i can't get up on top of this with the mech so i can't go back any further with the mech I mean, what? Am I supposed to get up here and then jump back? No. This thing is so funny when you're not the one to have to describe where this is. and make it all the way back. Oh, now I don't even have the, the map. Is cursed. 
That secret I found under the boss room. Like, I went, but there was nothing there. I mean, unless it just doesn't trigger the, uh, the boss that way. I mean, now I'm triggering the boss in a mech, but... I might make it a significantly easier fight, but it seems kind of cheaty. Oh dear god! Oh god! How? What? Oh, that's a weapon container. No! I gotta get an, an extra invulnerable frame. The fire doesn't hurt it. Yeah, I have the armor. Yeah, I had the armor, but, um, like, it wasn't... I don't want to say it wasn't that big of a benefit. It definitely was. That's... I'm about to be... See, the, the the freeze the animation lock is also kind of a pain that gig attack When he does the, you can spam the high and a low version. You can dash under the high one and over the low one. Yeah, I know. I'm just not very good at doing it. Well, that, that was interesting. <laughs> That's how it just... Okay! I wanted to defeat you. Then 
He appeared. Who? He told me he'd give me power. Only if I worked for Repliforce. What? Couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! <laughs> Yeah, the right armor is... You engine? Up oh, plus SM button on the ground. I'm guessing it does the Shoryuken. Burns enemies with flames. Some objects may be burned with this technique. Okay. Student looks like that green paper frog. Paper frog. Who knows? Huh. Jet Stingray. Actually, that's not a bad name. A lot of these have had really bad names. Destroyed the city and escaped into the sea. Okay, this one, definitely a bad guy. Oh, hey! Ah, crap. Bad time to accidentally hit the, the dash button. Jump! I was trying to jump! Ready. That was surprisingly good for a blind boy. I actually really like these jet bike sequences. Uh, like, there have been times where I have legitimately fucked these up just because I want to play them again. <laughs> Not today. Like, be just being clear, I was definitely trying this time. listening sometimes when I hit uh when I hit jump. I don't know why. Like I've said a couple of times, the controls just do not seem as tight in this. First half is incredibly annoying near the end. Fair enough. No! 
<laughs> God damn it! Me volunteers for telling how to get the heart tank and sub tank. And it's got a sub tank too! I'm fucked! <laughs> I hit jump! That is that is really getting annoying. I keep hitting jump and it's not working. Ready. Like this is what I mean about it not being as tight at controls as the other X games. Definitely feels like there's something off in the controls. Like there's a longer animation delay between jumps and shit. Okay, finally! Oh! Ready. Do it in one word up. Please tell me that I don't, like, fight the entire boss fight on the jets. I do not like this at all. This feels like Flappy Bird. That's what this feels like. Damn it. There was that sub tank. Can't jump on that. Okay. Ah, uh, he's still after me. Enough already. We'll set we settle this now.
Hey, that's an invulnerable frame. What? I was supposed to be invulnerable during that. Oh no. Fuck, I have to start with all this? No! So much going on. A second chance with this up tank. That is very true. That is very true. That is the upside of this. Damn it! Every time! Oh, I hate this stage so much. My least. Th this is the. This is the stage that's going to prove to me that I do not enjoy the jet bike. <laughs> that's the issue. Is that I'm going to start hating the jet bike. Damn it, that's not the one I'm supposed to get on top of. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, a lot of the, the, the special attacks here don't seem to make sense. I mean, ice for this guy does make a little more sense than lightning for the Dragoon. Although I play Final Fantasy XIV, so really anything killing a Dragoon does not surprise me. Damn it! The knife. A knife? There is no knife. A bike. I mean, maybe there's some ability that I don't know about that you're referring to as knife? 
Ah! Get so caught up in trying to destroy all the little fishies on his side. Knife is a powerful weapon, but just a knife to give you a gun. That's probably wrong. He's not a <laughs> God damn it. You guys crazy. I don't know how the ride chaser got the world's smallest windshield. You're right. Throw up this street, right? Let's, uh, fight. Hopefully we will win. Looks like someone's a little powerful. Damn, Zayfo. All right, and we win. Maybe you got a bummer? All right. So, Duncan Archer. All right, and back to this game. It's so thrown off when I stop to do Stream Raiders. really getting annoying. I'm bad at this, I know, but ah damn, this is really hard. It's going super fast. And there's so much on the screen to, to dodge and to try and kill. You don't have to dodge it later, and then everything pushes you off the fucking screen. I really don't like this stage. I really don't. I hate the ride chaser in this game. I was right, it is legitimately making me hate the ride chaser. Exactly, that's the issue, and I'm bad at memorizing maps. This is why I have Google Maps. Boost off it, yeah. Don't even jump. Yeah, that's gonna be the issue. That's gonna that's gonna be how I win. But oh, that's painful. Oh, that's painful. I was right there. Shut up, Ippy. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
That is so hard to place him. Ready. Yeah, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. This would be so much easier on X, because like I could destroy those little stingrays at a distance. might be his weakness, but it seems almost impossible for me to use effectively. And I'm just getting myself killed. But yeah, you're definitely right about the jet bike stages. The problem is that it, everything moves so fast, you basically just have to memorize it. And there is no just avoiding the damage, like, I'm sure there are um, speedrunners that can avoid the damage, but as we have thoroughly established, I am not a speedrunner. That's... Uh, you have the weakness, but one, it's silly, and two, something else to make it less silly. I do not at all understand what you're saying there. We're, we're going to go with a little bit different mentality here. And that is that for this first portion, the soul-consuming purpose of this run Damn it! is to get that sub-tank. It's also annoying that there's only two sub-tanks in this game where every other one has had four. Tom got automatically for saying damn in another stream's chat. Oh no, you shouldn't get that here. I, I don't have auto mod turned on. I prefer to have actual real life mods that know the difference between oh damn it and you know something that would get me or you banned from Twitch. Okay, now this run is a success no matter what. Uh, hold on, let me, let me catch up a little bit. Uh, you may want to revisit this boss later. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, if I ever beat it, yeah. Uh, yo, fire uppercut does not hurt him at all. Yeah, I know. But I have another ability. Yeah, the, the down thrust thing. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just, it doesn't really help much. Fire, 
fire up cut is to kill the little string of wigglies. Uh, yeah. I laugh and he's like, well, please watch your language. What? Those cuss words like you. Did I miss something where something almost got. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I have his weakness. It's just dumb. It's really hard for me to hit him with it without getting hit myself. Freeze him, then you combo him with the Z Saber. Yeah. Oh shit! Can you stop just doing that attack? Like, do something predictable, please! Yeah, that extra Z combo is not helping. Ah! This is really frustrating. I keep spamming the freeze attack. Yeah, that's... Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, look. You can't spam something that requires you to jump in the middle of it. You have to be in the air to do the freeze attack. So I can't spam it. Just warning, 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 I get it. Yeah, the additional beam saber is not helping. Ready. You say that, but I did just do that like 11 times in a row and not one of them was close enough to hit it. Like, I understand if I'm just bad. That's not me just being bad. Don't get me wrong, I am plenty bad. But I generally have a pretty good idea when I'm being bad and when it's the game's controls. I wasn't high enough because there's not enough jump. This extra Z-sabering did nothing. Well, yes, I do have his weakness. Come on. I can't transition to the Z-saber fast enough. I'm 
sorry, what? No, backseating is fine when it's not working. Another upgrade that makes this less stupid. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not on the bike. Like, I don't wanna cheese it. I just don't wanna like I don't wanna keep chasing after a, a win that's not that's not possible. Full jump into ice attack. I have done that, and it does not work. So unless you have a better suggestion than that. That's a full jump into ice attack, and it does nothing. And the extra Z sabers in the middle of it does nothing as well. Oh, it's, not, it's not just a specific height. I have jumped to his maximum height. Oh, okay. I, I see what you're saying. Okay, let me try and figure out where the maximum ground height is. Yeah, that's from maximum height. But that Z-Saber is doing nothing. Okay. Just try a different stage. Not like the design of this. This is reminding me of uh, Bloodborne, or not Bloodborne, uh, Bloodstained. Oh god, this is so weird and badly done. Can we not do this, please? Thank you. Get out of this area. Only slightly less frustrating on X because version of the ice move barely reaches max height. I, I don't know. So are there no capsules in this game?
Ow! It's so weird to be progressing by moving left. Hey, what are you... Stop trying to be fancy and just, like, show up. but only for X. Oh no, not one of these again! God damn it, these fucking stairs! Killing me! That ice blade and purple ladybug. <laughs> Not that I'd call it quite that, but. Oh god. Like, I get the, the, the. I get that there's cool shit about how they made all this. Ah! Uh. But it seems like they were just so impressed with how they could do all this that it didn't occur to them that they didn't need to do it. Ah! What? I was not under that. Well, I hate these stairs, they're always up to. You're not wrong. I'm gonna stop trying to be fancy, because that's that kind of seems to be what they did, and I'm not liking how it feels, so I'm gonna stop trying to like do the Shoryuken thing. And just yoink. I don't like this. I also don't like parts of the games where they force you to move at the game's pace. Like there's there's this one, especially when that pace is slow. I, I get so disoriented in that part of the level. Oh my god, that is terrible. That is terrible. They could not figure out how to make that three-dimensional movement work. They shouldn't have tried. What? I can't do the, the up, up Y in the air? Okay, so I need the double jump to get that too.
Yeah, I feel like that needs a double jump. Oh no! Damn it. There's no way to... Oh god, not this again! Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get that without the double jump. That's very unfortunate. me back down. That Shoryuken should have moved me to the side. Okay, so this is the boss. That wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, this seems so weird. Made it this far. I'm impressed. You're not interested in a real challenge? Who's your commanding officer? Never mind that. It's time to fight. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I've got a second non repel force bot you fight. Nice. Fair enough. It just seems weird. Okay, so he takes no damage from that. No, they definitely both hurt there. Ah, oh, that's such a weird pattern. 
get, especially when they start getting out of sync. I do not like that fake three-dimensional spiral thing. They don't do it well, and they really shouldn't try. Ugh. I also don't like... So... Um... Okay, the battle is ready to begin. Let's go ahead and up. And start the battle. See what we can't get. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be rough. Nice! Well done, guys! And what do we get? I'm gonna get two healers, and that is Roseman. A nine. Oh. You know, I don't think I can uh, get her for another half an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. I'm gonna try and. Keep this last boss, and then that'll probably be me for the day. It's also so one one other thing that I don't like is that in all the Mega Man games that I know, they didn't really use hitbox detection so much as... Um, it wasn't hitbox detection, it was... Um, oh, fuck. Basically, if you, if you crossed a pixel, you got dinged. Right? But they don't do that here. Okay, that does hurt him. It's not sufficiently enough. And here, they definitely use hitboxes, because there's times where I step on nothing, and I take, and, and I I take damage, and there's times where I step on actual pixels. And I take no damage. And it doesn't seem to, like, really make sense. Okay, so they start jumping at different speeds. Oh. Do I have this guy's weakness? Like, I don't feel like... This is the thing, with Zero, it doesn't feel like there are any weaknesses, per se. Like, I've only got three attacks. Oh god, them going at different speeds is killing me! Oh, 
Oh, this is killing me! And that did nothing. Did he just fart on me? Uh, yeah, it's just movement issues. I'm, I'm just having... I'm just having a hard time with this guy. My dash button is a uh, right shoulder button. So I've got right shoulder and then like, uh, save. So return title. So I can show you my... That's my controls. I'm using a, a um, yeah. I did not want to be trying to hit the B button during like, this is a problem with all the the Mega Man X games, at least in this generation, in in the in the X one to three, uh, one to four, is that they try to put um, left. It'd probably be smarter. Um, I just I'm usually so like mentally, I'm usually moving to the right when I dash, so I want to use buttons on the right because my brain is wired such that I'm gonna be trying to head right. So hitting a button on the right makes me move right faster. It's dumb, but I always used OB. OB. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, the, the default. Um, sorry, when you say, oh, I'm thinking... Because I'm still thinking of this in, like, uh, Super Nintendo term. Right? Even though this, this particular entry was on the PlayStation... So, yeah, why do I have Carpal Tunnel? Yeah, that's exactly... See, even with having changed my button configuration in every game, I still get my, my right hand starts to hurt. Move with your left hand, fight with your right... I mean, it, it, that makes sense, like... Like, like... Technically? But in my head, I can already... Like, already, when I try to dash to the left... I frequently bump the left bumper. Um, it's not just about like monomics. It's it's not just about how do I remember it. It's it's just about my my mental inclination to do. Um, and unfortunately, like it, it, I can't double bind, so I can't make it left and right, so that I could start trying to learn the left without compromising my ability to dash at all. Um, so like maybe that's a thing for me to do is to is to go back and play some of the earlier entries while mapping uh, dash to left bumper and see if I can try and relearn how to play the game that way. But I, as of right now, I really can't. Um, I don't see. Um, right trigger to uh, in into X. Line edge center in right trigger into X. I tried to play Mega Man X with the right trigger dashing, and it destroyed me for the same reason. Yeah, I definitely don't want to use the triggers. The triggers feel more like do a thing than, like, move. Um, like, using the trigger for the X Buster might work. Actually, that might be smart. Have the right trigger for the X Buster, and then X for dash and A for, for jump. That actually might work. That might work. I don't know, but it might. And get S on Cyber Peacock. 
S on talk for it. Ow. Yeah, unfortunately, um, about reaching the end of my energy for the day, I did not sleep well at all. So I think I'm going to have to call it here. Did I do Cyber Peacock? Yes, I did Cyber Peacock. I just did not get S on it. I got A. Speedrun stage. Yeah. And that is a cool idea that they added. I, I think it went too long, too far. And it's not well described enough. Like, they expect you to just do it. There's nothing, there's nothing there to intimate to you that there is a reward for doing this or what the reward is. You just do it and then I did pretty heckin' well. Yeah, I did get A on all the on all the sections. But I think that it needed to intimate to you that something was going on. Um rather than just kinda lock you up there. Like I'd speed up notification. Which it looked like it was saying speed down. Like it, it Honestly, what it reminded me of was in Mega Man X2, uh, in, uh, what was it, the Scorpion stage? Um, whatever the one with the, uh, the robot where it scans you three times. Oh, it's telling me rank down. Okay. Well, yes, good good items being hidden is fine, but but we're not talking about like in the previous entries, the good items weren't exactly hidden, right? Like there was the heart tanks and the sub tanks, which you had to know that you were doing in order to do them. But like if we're talking about you need to you need to go quickly and do a speed run section because Mega Man has never been necessarily about speed running. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's speedrun. Like, there are people who speedrun it. But the game itself has never really made speedrunning a benefit, right? Like, you don't get benefits for beating the game faster. You don't get a higher score because you beat the stage faster. You don't get more XP or HP back. You don't... There's, there's no rewards for doing things quickly, except in this one case, in this one game... After, what, like, 12 games in the series? So it's something that's just very strange. Like, it's a new thing, and there was nothing to indicate that it should have been happening. Like, in, 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 Mega, so like in Mega Man X1, right? You don't really think anything about the heart tanks because there wasn't heart tanks before that, but they make you run across your first one um, what stage is it that probably throws it at you first? Uh, the first one you probably see is in, uh, Flame Mammoth, right? Because you go across the bottom, and even if the, the ground is still lava, you wind up walking over to the right, and you see it down below in the lava, and you start thinking, well, what is that? How do I get to it? Right? And then you go and get to it, and you find out that it's health. It's extra health. Because in the the original Mega Man series, without you know no X, no zero, no no dot net or like you know legends or any of that stuff, there wasn't heart tank. Like you had the different weapons, and that's all you were going around to collect. At least for most of them, I I think after like six they started doing some weird shit, but. But you get what I'm saying, right? Like, you saw the thing, and then you're like, okay, how do I get the thing? And then you go get the thing, and it's like, okay, now I know what this does. And then you find out that there's one in every stage. And then from X forward, you look for those in every stage. You find out because in, I want to say, Storm Eagle is the first time you see the sub tank. And you're like, okay, what is that? You touch it, and you get an extra tank. And it's like, okay... I now know what that is, so I'm going to hunt those out. And yes, it's about exploration, which is the antithesis of speedrunning. There should be an arrow or something. Yeah, or, or like, um, or like take you to a, to a quick, um, 
you know, screen that tells you that, that you're being judged, right? Like, I don't know. Um, that might pull you out of the game too much, but like, which is, which is why I find it weird, right? Like, the stage is supposed to be the, it's the purview of the bad guys. So, why is it that it's giving you stuff for performing better? It should, it should want to not give you anything. Yeah, the enemies slow you down. So X5 addresses this a little, but it goes way too far in the opposite direction, right? Okay, so it makes it too easy. Which makes you want to go faster. The enemies slow you down, which makes you want to go faster. Right, but, if you, but then if you hit an enemy, you're already going slower. They explain way, way too much. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Mega Man X, X2, X3, they all did a fantastic... And, and the original series Mega Man. Like, all the, all the original Mega Mans, too. They were very good at telling what was, not only what was going on, but how you're supposed to do things and what exactly you're supposed to be doing. They did very well at just intimating that through the, uh, through the actual, um, like, process of playing the game. You learn how to play the game. Um, you know, this is the same way as in uh, Super Mario World, right? You start out... There's, there's only two thing, th three things you can do. Jump, move left, move right. That's it. And if you start moving left, you quickly run into the wall. You find out you can't do that. It doesn't, you, you don't move any further. Okay, well, then I'm going to move, move right. You hit a Goomba. What am I going to do? So you walk into the Goomba, you die. Okay, well, then I don't run into the Goomba. So what do I do? I jump. I jump over the Goomba. Eventually, you'll probably land on top of a Goomba. Oh, I can kill Goomba. Right? Like, just playing the game, you learn how to play the game very quickly and very easily. But in this, like, there's certain nuance of, of playing the game, certain elements that they don't explain. Um, we all watch the video of sequel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um... So if you do have a video about that, the sequelitis, I, if, if, if you've got a video or something, go ahead and link it, because I've never seen anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I like I was quoting it. Well, at, least I'm, at least I'm quoting something worth quoting, it seems. But yeah, like... Um, but no, seriously. Um, you learn... How to play the game from playing the game and in this like it would have been helpful to like say when you're go when they're describe even if it was just when they were describing the stage saying that like you're you know the 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 more you're detect like uh something about being detected and and that being the, it, the faster you move through the system the less you'll be detected and the more we'll be able to help you um okay i do know ego raptor but I don't think I've ever seen this video. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, I do this every Wednesday and Friday. I also do flight simulation every Tuesday. Um, and I normally do this around right now. Like I start right now, but two days ago. Uh, same thing on Tuesday when I do the flight sim. Uh, and, and right now I'm going through all the Mega Man X games uh, through X what, eight? Whatever the, whatever the last one is, it's in the Legacy Collection. Yeah, absolutely, PM it. For, uh, and also, just in case any of you want to keep up with what's going on, if I can spell, uh, there's my Discord. You can go ahead and sign up for that. Also, I do allow anybody who's streaming to uh, make their, their own stream announcements, just the same way that I do uh, in my Discord. So if you want to join, network with other streamers, network with other viewers, Absolutely, please, by all means, do that. I want to have you guys around. But uh, I appreciate you guys being here today. I don't have anybody to raid. Um, so I think that's going to be us for the day. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. And it has helped me to stay a little bit longer because I, I feel the energy from you guys. And it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so thank you guys for being here. Thanks for helping me out, offering some very good advice. And I will see you guys next week. Uh, I'll be back on Tuesday for some flight simulation. Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.